Hi friends, have you ever taken a look on this thing you always carry on your knee? Yeah, this IFR knee pad. Yeah, because there's an IFR knee pad and there is a VFR knee pad. Have you ever taken a look at this? But I know most of us do not take a very close look at this thing. But I tell you, this is a very big lifesaver, especially when you are lost. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you five things you should do when you are lost, when flying, especially if you are flying alone. This tip I'm going to be giving you, which is even here on your IFR knee pad that most of us don't look at this is what you should do when you are actually lost i made a video that there was a time when i was flying and i was lost but i was with an instructor it was an instructional flight i was supposed to do a navigation from point a to point b and coming back from point b coming back to point a i was lost <laughs> but i was with an instructor so it was not much of an issue because you could see you know you're lost what do we do and he was able to guide me and i found my way back and i had to do that exercise again so there are five steps you have to take when you are lost which are here written but just in case you're new to this channel and you don't know me my name is princess Anu, and on this channel we talk about aviation motivation and adventure and if you've not yet subscribed do me that favor click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so that whenever i post just anything on the channel you will be able to see and i also discovered that for us as student pilots what usually happens when we get lost at least for some people that have seen when they have issues and they get lost and you know talking with them and all what the first reflex is to call a friend and guys seriously it is just normal like you're looking for your buddy to like help you out of the situation so you kind of pick your phone you know we fly not at the altitude that you're still flying you can still get network at 5,000 feet 6,000 feet you can even still get network because you know some people feel that oh, when you're flying there's no network Yeah, it can be risky, you know because of radios and all that and all that but that's by the way But as student pilots this is what I've seen us do Our first reflex is to pick our phones and like call it a friend like guy how far oh, see, 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 This is what I'm what I'm seeing on the ground how can I maneuver? Are you seeing me? And everybody's going to come out. Like, we coordinate ourselves, you know, not allowing our instructors to kind of know. And we are like, okay, guy, fly this way, fly this way, and all that. But that one is just, and most people come back like that. It's good. But via regulations, like on a normal, what you should do when you are lost. There are these five S's that are on this uh, chart. I'm going to be showing you something they wrote here a vfr minimal for airplanes but at the ending part of this knee board it is written here that is the responsibility of the pilot to verify the above information it is your responsibility as a pilot so even when you're flying with it and you kind of look at it for reference because you know we kind of put our uh um approach charts and all that we kind of like put them here you put your approach charts here so that you can easily like flip you know page to page check other things and all but you know when you're flying with this looking at some vital things can also help like you have frequencies here but trust me you already have these things at the back of your head but when there's trouble they just tend to run out of the window <laughs> seriously it's just like when you say fire is burning fire is burning what are you supposed to carry like your mind starts to think things that you won't have carried on a normal day those are the things that you're even going to carry so now let's look at it we have five f's here and i'm uh five c's correction and what are the things written here you have to confess you have to communicate you have to confess yeah so what do you do you have to confess you have to communicate you have to climb you have to comply and you have to conserve so I'm going to be breaking these things down for you to understand what this means now confess this is one of the hardest parts to do especially as a student pilot is one of the hardest parts you don't want anybody to know that you are lost you want to try as much as possible to figure it out by yourself but see when you discover that for the next 20 minutes or so you are not getting your orientation on where you are it is always best to confess confession <laughs> can be hard <laughs> but 
<laughs> it's not better you save your life than not to confess these are two options that you have to pick <laughs> in order to know what to do so confess you call the kodru tower zaria tower kaduna tower lagos tower ilori tower toronto tower accra tower whatever tower call the tower and tell them that you don't know where you are you don't know like you left from so so point so so point in fact sometimes it's usually obvious when a student is missing because you are you've given an estimate you're expected to arrive at a particular time and five minutes to that time they've not seen you 10 minutes to that time they've not seen you 20 minutes to that time they've not seen you everybody already knows that something is wrong so before you allow everybody to know your situation why not just confess it's going to be hard if you cannot figure it out if you cannot also get a friend because i know that's the secret thing we do that's our code <laughs> you cannot get a friend just confess or you can talk to someone else probably if you have an instructor flying like on the radio also you can also talk to him and see if he can guide you to bring you back home the number two thing you have to do which is the second c communicate you have to communicate either with people flying or just like that with the controller you've confessed and you have to keep in constant communication they have to be able to hear your radios you don't have to start tuning tuning your radios you know that kind of a thing you're tuning this you're tuning that you you, you need to remain on the same frequencies in case they want to help you out they know where to start from to help you out they know what to do in order to save you from the situation that you have put yourself in will i say you have put yourself in Anyways, we are not putting blames here. They have to save you from the situation and that is what matters. So you need to be able to communicate and keep yourself on that frequency so that your communication will be clear and they will know how to find you on time. Because time is a factor when you get missing. And that's what will still come back at the end of this uh, five C's. The third C that you have to do you have to climb in most cases you know like i said we usually fly at maybe five thousand or six thousand you might have to climb higher sometimes they can tell you to climb to eight thousand maybe if if they want to find you on the radar you might have to climb higher and probably squawk a particular code depending on what the controller says you have to climb higher and now they will have to find you on the radar so these are things that you will have to do another very important thing which is the fourth c the fourth the fourth c that you have to <laughs> this is quite funny to me because seriously when somebody gets missing i'm telling you this is like i used to my heart is to pant <laughs> when i hear that somebody's missing not even me i put myself in that situation before but thank god i was not alone but seriously it's not a funny situation it's not a play play thing that okay we can say ah next thing is that's the fourth thing you have to comply comply to the rules if they say stay at social altitude comply if they say do this comply if any in information you are giving squat blah 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 comply if they say turn not comply if they say fly heading 210 so that they can track you comply whatever you are given to do please comply that's the fastest way you can be found imagine mixing confusion with confusion you know what that is going to be <laughs> seriously it can be so heartbreaking the last thing is you have to conserve and that's why i am saying that time is a very big factor in a situation when somebody is missing and when we are talking about complying I'm talking about sorry when we're talking about conserving you're talking about conserving your fuel so it's not a time for you to be you go front you come back you go here you come back no it's a time for you to conserve conserve the 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 fuel you have and you're not supposed to fly aimlessly because flying aimlessly maybe you go here you go you don't comply to what they've told you to do you're going to even get far far much even missing so it's always good stay within these five c's and your life will be safe so it's just there on your knee pad you can go through them you have to confess you have to communicate you have to climb comply and you have to conserve your fuel so guys these are the things you do when you find yourself missing the five c's you have to keep at the back of your mind when you find yourself missing i hope you don't get missing i hope your situation 
throughout your flying is smooth like sometimes it's hard to have just a completely smooth flight training but it's possible some people have done it i really don't know them but i feel some people might have done it <laughs> and they had a totally smooth uh, flight training so guys this is all we have for today catch you next time bye